London is burning. The whole world has been watching the shocking scenes in the English capital of rioting, looting and arson. But London is also home to many Channel Islanders and for them, the last couple of days have been at times terrifying. Some were using social networking sites to keep their friends and family up to date. As riots spread, Guernsey's Caitlin Sullivan described the scenes as horrific. Last night she tweeted, It's going down majorly in Wood Green where I'm living. We're leaving tomorrow. And soon after posted, looting and hundreds of people in Wood Green. On Facebook, Jersey's Claire Boyle described last night as absolutely terrifying. But while some islanders are fleeing London, others are staying, bracing themselves for tonight. Tonight, I'm even more nervous about what's going to happen. Uh, we've seen that the writers haven't been going back to the same location once. We're very close to where they were last night. Um, it's also quite an affluent area. I can see how it would be a, a very good target for the writers. And like I said, I live above a shop, so I can see how, you know, I, I'm in a bit of danger there. But I also know that I can get out of the city if I need to. And I've, I've like I said, I've got lots of pieces of board to stick over the, uh, over the windows just in case they do come up towards us. And like anyone with family in London, Tina's mum, Sue, who lives in Guernsey, has been watching coverage of the riots. As problems spread across the city, she's finding it difficult not to worry about her daughter. Tina's been living in London for seven years. She did university in London, so, yeah, and she's with good people, so I know she's safe. But, you know, one never knows. It could be your daughter, it could be your son, it could be anybody. They just need to stop violence. The fires, violence and looting are spreading, not just across London, but to cities across Britain. And as frightening as the last few days may have been, London's Channel Islanders don't believe it's over. In fact, many fear the worst is yet to come.